So let's talk about four things that you must write down. Welcome. <laughs> welcome back to chat with Tiana I hope everyone is doing okay if this is your first time on this channel my name is Onimi Ebong and I make videos to inspire to help you and I live our best lives so please take a moment to subscribe leave me a comment and click the thumbs up button please so in this video today I'm going to be talking about four things that you must write down there are four things that you have to write down every time and I'm going to be sharing that with you in this video so if it's something you would like to see please stay tuned don't go anywhere and welcome so somebody might want to ask why do I have to write stuff down or what are these things that I need to write down well for one thing as we grow older our memory tends to be a bit fuzzy and you don't always remember details of certain things so that's particularly one reason to write th these things I'm going to be telling you down. Another reason is I joined a mentorship group with uh, Shredder Gang, Bumi George, and in that mentorship uh, program, it was, I think it was about four weeks and it was life changing. We were told about getting yourself a nice notepad to write stuff down every day. We had to journal every day and I cannot tell you how liberating it was for me but anyway this is not about journaling this is about writing these four things i'm going to be telling you about down so let's get right into the video shall we <laughs> so guys the first thing that you must write down are testimonies what's a testimony a testimony is something spectacular that happens in your life that you feel and you know that it was the hand of god you must write your testimonies down, the details of those testimonies. I mean, when I started writing my testimonies, it was, it was, it was, it gives you a wow feeling when you go back to read them and you're like, wow, God did this, God did this, God did this. And you're reading them with the details and it just makes you adore God even the more. So the first thing you must write down are your testimonies. Write them down to share with your family or friends, to inspire people, especially because when you write them down, you are able to remember the details of what exactly happened, how it happened, the events surrounding that testimony. And it just gives you hope, especially in times where you're expecting stuff from God and it hasn't come. You just go back to your journal and then you open up your testimony page. And then when you go through what God has done for you, it gives you hope and helps you to trust God even the more and it builds up your faith so the first thing you must write down are your testimonies write them down second thing you must write down are the lessons you learned from your mistakes show me a person who has never made a mistake and i will show you a person who has never tried anything so if you've made mistakes congratulations you're trying <laughs> and you're going to get better. The more mistakes you make, the better you are in certain areas. But like my mother always says, it's better to learn from other people's mistakes instead of you making them yourself because some mistakes you never get out of. <laughs> anyway, so the second thing you must write down, believe it or not, are the lessons you learned from certain mistakes that you have made. By writing them down, it gives you clarity. And if there is a pattern, you'll be able to, you know, track it and say, okay, the first time I made this mistake, this and this happened. Second time I made this other mistake, the same thing happened. And if it's, if it's like a track thing or a personality thing, you'll be able to track it down and be able to nip it in the bud. So that is why you must write down the lessons you learned from your mistakes. Believe it or not, every mistake comes with a lesson. There's always something to learn. <laughs> from your mistakes so that's the second thing you must write down lessons learned from your mistakes and number three is a no-brainer everybody knows you must write down your plans and your goals you have to write them even the bible says write the vision make it plain so you have to write down details of your plans details of the goals time frame and every other detail surrounding how you want to achieve those goals because goals and plans without without um uh, what's it called without a structure 
they're just mere wishes so write your plans and your goals down and then try to go over them at least once every day at least once every day go over the, your goals and plans page and read it and try to see how far you're coming along believe it it goes a long way i'm telling you so the number three thing that you must write down are your plans and your goals for your life plans and goals for your family of course you know you should have family goals personal goals even sometimes goals for friends and family what to do how to relate with people okay so all manner of goals and plans that you have write them down write them down in details it helps a lot don't forget to write them down <laughs> and the fourth thing that you must write down are your prayer points if you're christian and you're a believer write down your prayer points those things that you're praying to god about write them down and take them as God answers them. It's, it's so fulfilling, I'm telling you, to write down your prayer points and see them being ticked, okay? Every time God answers, you go over and then you take it and then you just keep seeing how far God is coming through for you. So one thing, one major thing that you must write down are your prayer points. Write them down and take them as God answers. It's amazing, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's really amazing, you should try it. So must write down, your prayer points and everything that you're believing God for. It's different from your plans and goals. These are prayers that you're making to God because you know that he's the only one that can answer you. So write down your prayer points. I'm telling you, you thank me later. And for a bonus point, another thing that you can write down are your dreams and revelations. Have you ever had a beautiful dream and you woke up and you couldn't even remember past one second of what happened in that dream? So if you are... Uh, privilege to remember your dreams please write them down write down your dreams if God gives you certain revelations write them down you might be a genius but sometimes our minds play tricks on us and we may forget certain details so if you have revelations if you have dreams like you sleep and wake up and you have dreams as in those kind of dreams write them down and you know it just gives you something to go over every time first you need to get a, a book a journal just write down your dreams and your revelations. If God shows you stuff about your future, write them down. If you had a dream, well, I only write down good dreams. Don't write the bad ones. But if you have a bad dream as a Christian, you should wake up and counter it immediately. Because the Bible says, who is it that speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? So if, the, if it's a dream that you do not want to come to pass, because the Bible says that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose here is loose. So we have that power. So if you have a dream that you don't like, you don't want to see it come to pass, pray against it immediately. But if it's a good dream that you, that you, like you wake up and you're saying amen to the dream, write it down. Write the details of the dream down. And as soon as God, as God brings it to pass, go over and tick. So let me know in the comment section if there's any other things that you think we should be writing down. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share if you please. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>